Well, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, May 26th. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com, and it looks like world markets are shaken by North Korea's missile tests. So, also make or break week for GM as deadline nears. Uh, on and on. So, lots and lots of news. Also, if you go to investing stocks and look at economic, you can see what's coming out. So, today, 9 o'clock, S&P Case Shiller Home Price Index. Uh, and also then consumer confidence, that'll be a big one to watch as well. 27, 28, 29. Uh, so these are the numbers coming up. You can see that and uh, take careful note of those things as they come out. Uh, so a lot of news, a lot of earnings uh, have been already cleared up, but lots of economic things coming out. So watch out for those things in the context of the market. Pre and post market data. This is what they mean by uh, markets being shaken, but they've also come all the way back to this resistance post-market from the beginning of last week or end of last week. So it's not completely broken pre-market, and I uh, will watch how these things shape up. Uh, very, very important, of course, to remember the trend in the uh, trend Q and the VIX today, especially. And now we do have a higher swing low, a couple of them after this big sell-off uh, pre-market. So right now. 8891. So basically, $89 mark is right in here. So we'll be watching this carefully. So say 89 bucks. That is right in here. This is a resistance and support from before on a 15-minute chart, and we already know what we're fighting. This huge gap down, resistance over and over and over again, right back up into this 90, $91 mark, and then of course 92, 93. So all the same, same things remain intact. There's a beautiful high base forming, but remember all the things we have overhead, uh, 200 MA declining, all the weekly resistance overhead. So it's actually great to see a few weeks already of a high base. A lot of overhead resistance means that we need to trade more carefully on the long side unless we find a great relative strength stock and uh, go from there. So watch how the markets react to these news events, especially at 10 o'clock, and uh, see how this uh, gap gets filled. If it pops back up in here, it may not even look like a gap. So watch that again. Nice work, everybody. I'd like to see uh, some good action today and over the next few days after this uh, last little holiday we had. And uh, we'll see what we get. So watch the volume, especially in that kind of case, and we'll go forward. So have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you around noon.